Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'll be opening door number 24, the final door of this year's LEGO's Harry, Harry Potter Advent Calendar, which is LEGO set 76418. As, as it's the final video, uh, once I'll do it, I'll be doing a quick review as I go through anyway. So, um, before we go further, I'd like to thank Chris Walcott for his kind comment about the Iron Reindeer on the uh, Marvel Avengers Advent Calendar. Thank you very much. I have done three advent calendars this year, the Star Wars Lego and the Harry Potter one. This is the final this is the final video on the Harry Potter one. So if you uh so so this is the front of the box, this is the back of the box, this is the drop-down bit here where you have your uh, display area and it's quite this does have the best sort of display area out of all the three I've done, so because it looks very a very good, a very good holiday scene. Do a quick recap what we've got. Do feel free to pass forward through if you need to. The nice little Harry Potter figure, the, the hood bit is quite good on there. You've got a fair few spare ones as well with this this, this year. So too, we've got the Honey Dukes uh, window display with the jelly beans, the chocolate frog and the lolly. That's quite nice. Door number three is the Honey Dukes counter with the sweets, uh, sweet desserts and the popcorn bit there, that's quite nice. That's quite a nice little mini build, but door number four is the Sirius Black Wanted poster. There's a nice two, two by two printed tile there, that is seriously nice. That is tender, that is a contender for the best, best build on the Advent calendar there. Door number five is Rob Weasley with a bobble hat and hair combo on it. That's quite nice. Two of the Holy Trinity there from Harry Potter. Door number six is the Magic Wand stall, which has two like Disney type ones and two Star Wars inspired ones. So not bad really, I do quite like that. Now door number seven which is the dessert trolley. It's a nice little build for what it is. Uh, I don't know much about Harry Potter, but it does look like dessert trolleys. It's not very colourful, so it rolls and it could be integrated into other sets as well. So that is, it's a nice build, but I do like that one because it's just got the, it's the simplicity of it that seems to be winning at the moment. So door number eight is the Hogwarts sign. This is nice. It's got a nice uh, four by one printed tile on it with a sign that says Hogwarts so that is quite that is quite nice I do quite like that door number nine if I can find it down here is Hermione Granger nice figure nice hairpiece and comes with the wands and the and, and the moving legs as does it come with moving legs yes it does I do like the beanie hat and hair combo, that's quite nice. So that's the that's the Harry Potter Holy Trinity complete there. Door number 10 is a Christmas tree. So a nice little Christmas tree there, so that's quite nice. Not sure how Christmas fits in with, with the magic side of it, but there are some people that disagree with that, but I'm not going down that route, so. Door number 11 is the, I like this build, the post box, the, the, I've lost, the letter has fallen in the back of the box, unfortunately, post box with an owl on it. That is quite nice, the owl does actually push it that little bit more, but the post box is the wrong colour, so the white post box, I probably would have gone for that, to be honest with you, but I do like that serious black wanted poster, because it, just purely for the simplicity, but the owl is quite nice on there, though. Door number 12 is a fountain. This is a nice build, really. It's a nice, it's a nice, a nice up fountain. It's quite cool. Door number 13 is Dumbledore. Nice figure. It's got the wizardy type, wizardy long hair and beard. He's got his wizardy robes and he's got a glass for his butter beer. Door number 14 is the bar table which is it's not it's what it is it's a nice build but it's not something that that screams wow at me it's kind of like i've done i've been doing advent calendars for about 
quite a few years now and you just get to see a lot of the same sort of stuff coming through which is a bit which does actually cause a little bit of um, disappoint, disappointment bear with me sorry do apologize I like it but it's not overly amazing it's got some nice bits with it though so you can incorporate it to another set if you want to but next we have door number 15 is the butter beer barrel. I like the build, I like this build. It's, it, it looks like what it's meant to do and it has been used in a um, Lord of the Rings set, if memory serves me right. I'm gonna, I think it's Lord of the Rings poly bag, so that is quite a good, quite a nice little build for what it is. Can't complain about that one. So door number 16 is the lamp post. It's a lamp post, it looks good, it looks like a lamp post. It could go into any other set of a lamp post. Lamp posts um, don't really excite me that much, but but it is but it is nice, but it's not wow. It doesn't doesn't have quite that wow factor really for me. So next we have Madame Ros Murta. This is a nice figure, I do quite like it. Uh, it's something, I'm not been to Harry Potter, but if I was gonna choose a figure uh, at the moment, it would be between her and Hermione Granger somehow, because the hair piece, the hair piece just, 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 just seems to do it. The hair piece and the, uh, the body piece is printed quite well, so. She's very new agey dressed, so I do quite like that. Bear with me, I am. I am I am gonna get this video out today, so please please bear with me on this. I would very I, I do appreciate your support on this. So next we have door number 18 is the table with the butter beer and the chicken leg on it. It's, it's been done in they, they did it they did something similar in the Avengers Advent calendar, so and so I like the butter beer glass though, it has to be said. But it doesn't quite have that have that wow factor. The, the glass has the wow factor, but the rest of it is a bit like, oh, like I've seen it too many times in open calendars. So I like that build. I do like that build, and I like the I like the the butter beer barrel as as well at the moment. So now we go for number nineteen, which is the fireplace. This is a nice build for what it is. It's a nice little build. It does what it's meant to do, but. It has been done before a couple of times, but it's not a bad little build though, so. Door number 20 is the, the table and chair and the, with the Christmas lamp and the Christmas wreath on it. That's, this is nice what it is, but it's a bit samey samey. They seem to do, I have seen it before, so it doesn't really stand out and make me go, wow. It hasn't quite got that wow factor to it, but it is nice. It is a nice build. It's sort of thing you expect from a Lego Advent calendar, so. Door number 21. This is, I do kind of like this figure because I like the the jacket and the, um, and the hat. So I'm not sure who the character is, but I like the figure, but I like the new agey look of the um, Madame Ros Murta more than I like it, more than I like this one. So about all, about all the kid figures, I kind of like this one because I like the hat because it reminds me of Kyle from South Park. So it's, it's kind of like that. So it's quite, quite nice. So, uh, so door number 22 is a bench, which is, it's a holiday scene and it works. It works the Advent calendar, but it doesn't have that wow factor, unfortunately. Door number 23 is a, a slightly bigger Christmas tree. It's, a, it's kind of what you expect from a Lego Advent calendar. It doesn't, like I say, it doesn't have that wow factor, to be honest with you. The one on the Avengers one probably looks better, but probably because it's got Avengers, it's got the Cosmic Cube on it, but 
it's a it's a Christmas advent calendar, so there's not much more we can say about that really. No, it's nice to have a couple of Christmas tree pieces. Next, we come to the main event, which is door number twenty four, which we all, which if you look at the box, you can work out what it's going to be. You're not expecting a miracle figure here or anything like that. It is a snowman, which is the thing which is on the box. So that's not. Bad. There are there have been a few surprise figures in here, which is good. I don't know if the other figure is a surprise, let's have a look. Yeah, there were, there'd be a few little nice surprises in here, but it's, we've got a snowman here, so it's Christmas, you can't really expect not to have one. It probably won't be as good as the Iron Snowman from the Avengers Advent Calendar, but that's quite a hard, quite a hard thing to beat though, really. Though. But, so I'll try and build this properly, so we have a white two by one curved brick base. We have two of these white one bricks with the stud on the side. These go on top like so. Next we have a red two by one plate with a stud in the middle like that. That goes on there. Have a white plain head and a top hat, which goes on there. So I bear with me again, I am, I'm trying to push through here. Uh, sorry, I do apologize if it's a bit disrupted. I do really do apologize, but I'm just, next year I'm gonna start recording a little bit earlier in the year, so just so, so I don't have to worry about pushing stuff through. So here we have our snowman, it's not, the world's greatest snowman, the Avengers one is better, but this is what you probably, this does look like, a, this does look like a snowman, it's got a broom. Uh, it's got a hook there, we're gonna put an extra hook on here because I don't wanna lose the hook, so. Put that behind there. Well, you've got a snowman, it's not too, it's a nice little, it's a nice little one thing to have, so. Put that hook on there so we don't lose it. Well, so it, like you say, snowman, uh, it's a nice build, but if I, out of all these builds, I kind of like this one because of the um, the printed tile. That's got a nice printed tile on it as well. The shop display is actually quite good because that jelly bean box is quite good. I've seen it a couple couple of times before, but it does work quite well. Figure wise, I would go with Ros Mercer. Uh, that the 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 butter beer barrel is really good. I like that, it's kind of, it looks like what it's meant to look like. The fireplace is okay. The rest of them are sort of like, middle, bit middle of the road. The post box is good with the owl, but unfortunately I've lost the letter, so I'll see if it's in there. There's loads, <coughs> there's loads of bits shaking around in here, but I don't think, I can't find the letter, so. It's in the box somewhere, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna spend the rest of the video um, we won't bore you with me searching through a box looking for a um, two by one tire, which I know is probably in the back of the box somewhere. So I hope you enjoyed this project this year as much as I have. Um, it has been a lot of work this year and, then, uh, and I will be, redo, will be restructuring the way I do it next year. If you have any favorites, let me know. If you, have any, if you disagree with my favorites or anything like that, or I've got anything wrong, do feel free to let me know. Like any constructive or Constructive or kind comments are always um, are always appreciated. I hope you all have a happy uh, happy Christmas and happy New Year. And don't forget, I am on YouTube, Instagram, Threads, and Facebook uh, at the moment. So, uh, so I'm using all those media to promote the channel. Any support for the channel is very much appreciated. Um, YouTube like, shares, and subscribes are the ones that, that uh, and, 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 and on Instagram that they, that they are very they are very very, very much appreciated. Um, any but I say any support, even if you just watch the videos once a year and you just just join me for my advent calendar videos, you, you are all welcome and you and, and 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 it does make the channel. Any support for the channel is always good. So. Um, 
So, so, so I hope you'll have a ha so we'll have a happy new year. Stay safe, keep building, and hope to see and hope to see you in the hope to see you in the new year at some point on my channel. Thank you, thank you again. Thank you very much for supporting this project, this these projects this year. The, the, a lot of work has gone in this year, and 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 any and like I say, any support is always very much appreciated. And again, thank you. Happy holidays. I won't keep repeating myself. And stay safe. Keep building. And happy new year to ev happy new year to um, um, everyone watching this video. Hope to see you on an upcoming video.